An assault weapon is an automatic or semi-automatic weapon of military grade. Under the Firearms Act, this class is already prohibited as it pertains to civilian possession and use. Attorney Nairi Alfonso, who is also co-owner of the Firearm Training Institute, says for decades, those weapons have been reserved for a few groups of people. So essentially, automatic weapons are only, can only reside in the hands of police officers, prison officers, um, defense force members. I think they've tossed in the director of the Forensic Science Center. Um, those kinds of um, persons were in the state apparatus, apparatus. But in terms of the ability to license those weapons, as the Prime Minister has alluded to, in the hands of the civilian population, no, there has been a complete prohibition um, on that uh, since 1971. She points to a litany of woes in relation to homicides by illegal firearms. Guns can be homemade, semi-automatic guns that are not military grade can be converted to automatic assault weapons. These crimes are also being committed against the backdrop of harsher penalties. 2019, um, the legislation was amended to make the penalties for the possession of a, of a semi-automatic or any other prohibited weapon quite extravagant. So you're speaking of, you know, imprisonment for 15 years, imprisonment for 20 years in, in, one, in one occasion, um, fines of half a million dollars, fines of a million dollars. The attorney calls the ban comprehensive and full, and she's confused about that being highlighted as part of CARICOM's action plan to treating with crime as a public health issue. Announcing a ban is not carrying us anywhere. You know, you, you, how can that carry you anywhere? You're banning something that is banned in your legislation already, and has been yeah. banned for 50 years. Well, and Alfonso also notes that the guns coming into the country and those that are making their way onto the streets tend to be more powerful than what any law-abiding citizen has. Theirs are usually revolvers, pistols, and shotguns. As for her take on the granting of firearms users' licenses and a process for which some people find moves too slowly? I have advocated, I've advocated for a very long time that people who are properly trained uh, go to training, know how to use their firearm, know how to clean their firearm, maintain their firearm, are not a liability to public safety. They perhaps, you know, some assistance to public safety. So that, you know, in Trinidad, we have a restrictive approach of granting firearms licenses, but our legislation does not bear that out. In that regard, Alfonso believes once the legislative criteria is met, the response of the TTPS to FUL applications should be reasonable. She's also calling for a higher level of monitoring at the legal ports of entry in order to help curb crime. Alessia Boucher, TV6 News.